Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here on the floor of CES 2017. I'm with my man, Dave Matthews, the gadget guy, GGDM. And Dave, you like to go look for the wacky, fun, interesting stuff in those back boots, those cheap seats as I like to call them. I start in the back of the trade show, I work my way forward, because yep. I like finding the wacky stuff, the interesting stuff, the creative stuff. Tell me, what did you find here? So in the Sands Hall, where we are now with the ring team, is great for that. And I love robots. If you remember iRobot, the Roomba would go around and clean your floors. Really, it just ran around and got stuck on things. But I saw Ethan here with his robot that's a grill bot. Ethan, what have you come up with here? I came up with the Roomba for your grill, basically. If you love to barbecue, but you hate to clean, Grillbot does the work for you. It works on any style grill with the press of a button. That's now you're the founder, you had this idea, or you? This idea, yeah. So, uh, do you have a Roomba, and you were just sitting there looking at your Roomba, and you're like, I could get this to clean the grill, or is it just too much work to go like this eight times? It was, none of that. It was being too lazy to drive to the store to buy a grill brush. I went into my garage, I took a power drill, and I put a, bri a bristle brush on it, and I started cleaning the grill, and I said to myself, why can't you press a button and get it done? Three and a half years later, I invented the grill bot. And what is your, uh, are you married, you're married guy? Married, live in Manhattan, Upper East Side. Have so, uh, you had you have a you had a regular job before this? Did you have a regular job? I was selling Manhattan real estate for 15 years. So, like when you walk in and you say to your wife, like, I want to like quit selling 3,000 a square foot dollar apartments and getting ridiculous commissions, and I, I want to create a, a Roomba for grills. Does she look at you and say like you're Ralph Cramden, like the honeymooners, and say like absolutely not, you're gonna like Corey an apple, or what's the story here? What was her reaction when you told her you're gonna spend all of her money on this? Before I explained it, I did say humana humana humana, so absolutely honeymooners all the way. I did tell her my idea. She was like, go for it, but don't quit your day job. And it took three and a half years of engineering, so during that process, I started getting so much more involved with it. Eventually, I had to give up the day job because she saw the traction we were getting with this, and people just were falling in love with it, all the prototypes, and it took off. So, um, when you showed this to the people at the Sharper Image, they fell out of their seat, right? I mean, this is like the, this is the thing that Sharper Image lives for. Are you in the Sharper Image? Yeah, they're one of our first customers. They were just visiting us uh, yesterday as well. They love us. They, they're, we're there every year with them. So Sharper Image, we're launching into Home Depot this year. We're on Lowe's and Best Buy, Bed Bath & Beyond. So it's been really exciting to watch the success. We've sold over 100,000 robots already. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. Hold on a second. Uh, you sold 100,000 of them for how much? Uh, they ninety nine $99. $99, not bad, not bad. Um, uh, really rechargeable, they work on hot and cold grills. The brushes are even dishwasher safe. Can it, can it core an apple, a apple? It, it makes a martini, no, I'm just kidding. No. Boy, can it core an apple, yeah. There he goes, it will clean any style grill though. People, it is America's favorite pastime. People love barbecuing, but nobody wants to do the scrubbing or cleaning. If I put this on my wood floor, it's basically gonna destroy it. It's gonna shred your floor, yeah. You wanna keep it away from the cat. It's not a back scratcher. It won't exfoliate or anything like that. You just put it on your grill, let it rip, and it'll clean it for you. Technically speaking, it's gonna exfoliate maybe just a little bit more. But we, we are seeing this emergence of the dentist or real estate broker with a crazy idea who watches Shark Tank or gets inspired by something and they're actually able to go build a hardware product. Can you believe it? It's, I love it. It's the backyard inventor, but the fact that he solved a problem and under a hundred bucks, like it's good. It's, it's fun. The world is changing very quickly. Um, congratulations and uh, more interesting stuff to come on This Week in Startups.